Atlas is a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Atlas, Atlas's surface is covered by white deserts of silicate sand, with only a few areas of igneous, igneous, igneous rock, highlands to break the aggressive dust-choked wind. Atlas' orbit is congested with debris thrown inwards by the gravity of the gas giant Ontemalka due to a high rate of me meteor impacts. Exploration is highly dangerous. Orbital period 2.7 Earth years. Radius 5,000 729 kilometers, day length 50.3 Earth hours, atmospheric pressure 0.8 Earth atmospheres, surface temperature minus 1 Celsius, surface gravity 0.87 G. Prototype upgrade combining numerous advanced medical technologies to monitor and regulate all vital systems, maximizing healing and minimizing recovery times for the user, plus 3.5 health regeneration per second, plus 50% toxin resistance, plus 15% reduction in power cooldown.
fix Mako. Actually, probably the first time I'm re repairing the Mako in si ever since I started playing Mass Effect in Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Never thought I had to re do, you know, do the repair at least once.
Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Fear. <coughs> Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made.
I'm waiting to... Commander, any word on my missing men? <coughs> I found them. What was left of them. They ran into a thresher mob. A thresher mob? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Hmm. Okay. to launch the Vermine mission. Uh, about to launch the Vermine mission. Voila, voila, voila. What's up, what's up? In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia, joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, Courage. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Goku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Where am I at? 
is a lush frontier world, ideal for, coloni for colonization by carbon-based species. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid tropical terrain. Unfortunately, the political instability of the nearby terminus systems has impeded colonization efforts. The high risk of raids by, pi by pirates and slavers make it an unappealing homestead. Orbital period 9.2 Earth years, radius 6,440 kilometers, day length 20.3 Earth days, atmospheric pressure 0.9 Earth atmospheres, surface temperature 32 Celsius, surface gravity 0.86 G. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them up. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Stay out of range and maintain invasive maneuvers until I drop those AA guns
touchdown at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. That's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. Looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. Rex doesn't worry me. He'll fall in line. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Watch yourself. I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. These Solarians seem pretty tough. I just hope they hold up under pressure. We're close, Commander. Saren can't hide forever. Be careful with Rex. He's not himself. I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. I hope these Solarians seem pretty tough. If you need my help dealing with Rex, just let me know. I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still keep him? His defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. The last thing we need is an angry Krogan on our team. Uh, I guess we're stuck here for now. Frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Oops. The Krogan seems very upset. I'm concerned about Rex. Close, Commander. Saren can't hide forever. If we fail, no one will hear of this. The mission will succeed. I just need a few more minutes with my men. I'm just briefing my men. I suggest you do the same. Commander, come and see me after you've spoken with the Krogan. Speak to the Krogan. Settle him down. I don't want any loose cannons on this mission. I'm just briefing my men. Commander, I just need a few more minutes with my men. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. The captain knows we'll follow him anywhere. To the very end. I've been on this mission far too long. 
My brood won't even recognize me. I really hope the Council pays attention to what's happening here. The Captain has never let us down. Never will. I really hope the Council pays attention to what's happening here. Mm, by the way, my head altered some lines of conversation among these Solarians and STG team. Let's see, let's see if we can convince Rex. We better succeed, human. We still feel the toll of the Krogan Rebellion. The captain has never let us down. We better succeed, human. I am worried that Rex's allegiance to you may be waning. This facility is well protected. It must be very important to Seraph. The Krogan's demeanor is worrying. These Solarians are some of the best trained anywhere. We will need their help. I am worried that Rex's allegiance to you may be waning. This facility is well protected. It must be very important to Seraph. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. All you need to know is that I'm giving you an order to fall in line. So that's it. All this time and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan. This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Saren doesn't care about these Krogan. They're tools, puppets. He'll destroy them as soon as they're no longer useful to him. Is that what you want for your people? No, we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard, you've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Yes. Yes, Rex. To fall in line. We're doing this. Let's go. Good boy, Rex. I'm going to tear this place a new one. Saren's base will be nothing but dust when I'm done. I'm ready, Shepard. Just say the word. If we're doing this, then let's go. I'm going to tear this place a new one. Saren's base will be nothing but dust when I'm done. You must be very persuasive to change the Krogan's mind. The stakes here are greater than any one individual. Krogan persistence is remarkable. I almost admire them for it. I'm surprised you were able to reason with a Krogan. Taking the facility will not be easy, but I am sure we will succeed. These Solarians are some of the best trained anywhere. Watch that Krogan of yours. Who knows what he'll do once you're in the breeding chamber. This mission is too important to get bogged down by one Krogan. I thought we were almost done with Krogan. What's it take to get rid of him? It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. 
Just say the word. I'm ready to go. I hope these Solarians can fight. Nice job with Rex. He's totally changed his attitude. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Just say the word. I'm ready to go. Whatever you need, Commander, I'm right behind you. Nice work, Rex. I didn't think anyone would calm me down. These Solarians seem pretty tough. I just hope they hold up under pressure. We're close, Commander. Saren can't hide forever. Whatever you need, Commander, I'm right behind you. With all these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. I can't believe you were able to calm Rex down. Uh, I guess we're stuck here for now. These Solarians are willing to die to stop Saren. And so am I. Rex's mood has changed since you spoke with him. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know... Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kira here. <coughs> Let me see what you have. What little there is. human if you need I supplies. should go goodbye human speak with the captain when you're ready to go your Krogan may change his mind when he sees the extent of the facility we are all expendable for the sake of the mission Krogan are truly a stubborn breed it's rare to see a Krogan accept reason. You command exceptional loyalty. Your Krogan may change his mind when he sees the extent of the facility. Only a fool accepts the word of a Krogan. This mission takes precedence over the fate of individuals. A Krogan that responds to reason. How strange. Hmm. Only a fool accepts the word of a Krogan. Okay, Bama. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me, to help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. 
Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I'll have the ordnance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. They must have a personal they must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any ch chance of success. I want to know more about the bond. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. <laughs> Disable the AA guns so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you want to say, Chief? <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Whatever happens, everyone just keeps shooting. We go in hard, hit them harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the other side. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission, and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. Oh, oh, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. This is my kind of vacation. 
lots of scenery and lots of killing. This is my kind of vacation. Lots of scenery and lots of killing. So Caden has nothing to say about... Sun, surf, sand, and gas. <laughs> I bet they don't put that in the brochure. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams with the Igor team. Manovai, Teato teams, move. Time to get some attention. Manovai is under coordinated crossfire. Check for long-range turrets helping the Geth target. Now, Commander. They're targeting. We got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai.
还不休息了。Sat strikes. Jayeto, watch for comm stations. William, can you see anything? <coughs>
close. Hold the line, man. Hold the line. We've got access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Williams and the Salarians to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside.
What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. <laughs> Nobody's going anywhere till I get some answers. Private Maino Savant of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from those bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd say anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Can you help me, or will I be carrying you out of here? I'll be at your back every step of the way. I just need to get out of here and away from that incessant whispering. They've typed it in for days now. Something's not right here, Commander. He's not part of the mission. No. No! I, I need to get out. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. <laughs> I should be. I hear them over and over. Why aren't they repeated when they're so simple? <laughs> simple!
out, Commander. Zarin needs to pay. Transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. Mm -hmm. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat. And far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. Is there anything wrong? Others died during the experiments. I ended it. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination, symptoms, progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that, please. Let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. No threat here, Commander. Are they even aware of us? No, oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure. But leave them like this. Better to die than to live like this. Just mow them down, Commander? I'm all for it. Every second like that must be torture. I know I see. here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathinoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. Give me one reason I should help you. 
I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. <coughs> Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. Over time, days, maybe a week, there's a balance between control and usefulness. Mm -hmm. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never... Ah! You enjoyed that. Another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. Hmm. See you later, guys. Gotta take some break.